Math is everywhere. Music creates on mathematical concepts. This project shows how to create a music score based on mathematical and geometrical concepts through Fibonacci's number series and the golden ratio. Melody, harmony, and rhythm are determined on these concepts. All the notes and chords are defined applying Fibonacci's number series to pattern of notes placed on the relationship between keys and scales. Even rhythm follows these mathematical concepts. Time and intervals of time are based on the golden spiral, a geometrical figure formed on golden ratios and Fibonacci series. Music is purely made from math. To have a music composition, we basically need three components. Harmony, melody, and rhythm. We decide to start dealing with the harmony, so our question is, how to find a sequence of chords based on mathematical concepts? When we speak about chords, we need three or four note sounds together following known intervals. Furthermore, because we're talking about sequences and patterns, we're going to use Fibonacci sequences, the series or numbers which show a perfect relationship between each other. Fibonacci sequence is an infinite series of numbers where each number is found by adding up the two numbers before. This sequence is very significant because when we take any two successive Fibonacci numbers, their ratio is very close to the golden ratio, which is approximately 1.618034. In fact, the bigger the pair of Fibonacci numbers, the closer the approximation. Now we have a series of numbers related to each other. It is time to think about relationships between scales and notes, and then try to join these two concepts based on related elements. How are scales and notes related to each other? Start drawing the chromatic scale on a circle. We can find many relationships between notes and scales. One relationship is found when we join a major scale and its relative natural minor scale. For example, when we start with a C major scale and its A natural minor scale, we move on to the A major scale and its F sharp natural minor scale. From there, we move to the F sharp major scale to the E flat natural minor scale. And from the E flat major scale, we fall back into the C natural minor scale. See that we can rotate a square and find the relationships between relative major and minor scales and keys. Following this concept, we can choose any square. The same concept can work for any square by transposition. Keep on consideration the square C, A, F sharp, and E flat. We should consider for any pitch the relative major scale and natural minor scale, and we know that the difference between these two series of notes are the third, sixth, and seventh degree. So now we have four voices which form a tetrachord. Each of them follows a pattern composed by four scales degrees, first, second, fourth, and fifth, present in the major and minor scale of the pitch. Looking at a four by four table, we notice that we have all the 12 notes of the chromatic scales and there are four notes, the column of the four degrees, that are repeated. They will be our next square on the circle. These pitches are related like our pitches are. If we consider the elements of the first line our tonic notes, we can build any harmony based on four diminished seventh chords. C diminished seventh, D diminished seventh, F diminished seventh, and G diminished seventh. These will be the chords of our harmony. Now that we have our four chords, we apply Fibonacci sequence to create our pattern. We need to know how these four chords follow one another in our composition. Firstly, we assign four numbers to these elements who has to have a system based on four. C diminished seventh will be our element zero. D diminished 7 will be our element 1, F diminished 7 will be our element 2, and G diminished 7 will be our element 3. Thus, we count under base 4 and the chords recur every interval of 4 elements. Now we need to convert the Fibonacci numbers under the base 10 and our system under base 4. After the 5th element, which is number 3, we move on to the 6th element, which is number 5 under base 10. This corresponds to number 11 under base 4. Then. We have 8, which corresponds to 20, and 13 to 31, and so on and so forth. Watch the result and assign a chord to every number. If the number ends with 0, it will be a C diminished 7. If we have 1 at the end, it will be a D diminished 7. With 2, it will be an F diminished 7. And with 3, it will be a G diminished 7. We notice that we have a loop of 6 ciphers, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, and so 6 chords. Our harmony will be a potential infinite loop, C diminished 7th, D diminished 7th, D diminished 7th, F diminished 7th, G diminished 7th, D diminished 7th. Now it's time for a melody, horizontal representation of our music score. Because we find a way to have all the possible notes of the chromatic scale, we bring back our 4x4 table. 
And we know that in the system under base 4, we have the pattern 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1 repeated to infinity. Because we do not want to follow the four voices and the chords found, we apply the Fibonacci numbers under base 4 following the sequence of the rows. 0 is C, 1 is B, 1 is A flat, 2 is A flat, 3 is G, 1 is B, 0 is G flat, 1 is F, 1 is D, 2 is D, 3 is D flat, and finally 1 is F, and so on. We have a loop of 12 notes that repeat to infinity. Why 12? Because we are applying in a system based on a 4 count and a pattern of 6 numbers. The lowest common denominator between 4 and 6 is 12. So far we have 6 chords, our harmony, and 12 notes, our melody. We need 2 loops of chords to fill all the 12 notes. For this reason, from now on, we are going to work on the first 12 chords. It is time to define our rhythm. We need to define how our sounds flow through time. We need a concept, a figure, a sequence that does not permit repetitions, because we cannot have repetitions through time. If we apply the Fibonacci numbers into a system of squares, this will create what we call the golden spiral, or Fibonacci spiral. A Fibonacci spiral approximates the golden spiral using quarter circle arcs inscribed in squares of integer Fibonacci number side, shown for square sizes 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and so on. Here is our golden spiral, a perfect, infinitive figure that never goes back. No repetitions, we are constantly moving through time. We try to draw the spiral on an XY system. We start from the origin, A. We draw our first square of side 1 and our first arc, C, which equals 1.57. Combining another square of side 2, we have our second square and so our second arc, D, equals pi, and so on. Here are the measurements of all the arcs. If we divide an arc's measure by the measure of the president's arc, the ratio is closer to the golden ratio, phi. If we draw the spiral with a constant speed, every time we change our reference circle, we have a sound, chord, and melody note. The time distance between these sounds follows the golden ratio. Because we have numbers rounded to have the nearest tenth value 0 or 5 in a 4-4 time, our unit will be a 16 note. For example, the first arc, which equals 1.57, will be rounded to 1.50, which equals to a 16th dotted note. The second arc, which is pi, will be rounded to 3.00, which equals to 3 16th notes. Now we apply the numbers to the measure. One measure equals 16 units. A quarter note gets 4 units. Now we write down our final score. First, assign the voices to instruments. Because we have 4 voices for our harmony, we assign these parts to classical string quartet. We have the rhythm and we know the distance between the notes. We have the melody in a tonal key with the 12 notes we found, and we have the harmony with the two loops of the six chords we found. Here is the final score. Pure mathematical concepts apply to music. From the beginning, we can already see we have issues with placing notes. This is for several reasons. One, because the notes are very close together. Two, because we have very big discrepancies between intervals. And lastly, as the spiral goes on and on, we have notes being held for longer periods of time. For this reason, we have an alternative free score with the same chords and same pitches of the voices. We do clear some of the 16th dotted notes to make everything more audible and readable. We also add some rhythmical figure and some motions between tonics and octaves. Here is the final piece.